If you're looking for a keyboard to complement your Lord of the Rings collection, Drop has you covered with their new collab to bring you Dwarvish and Elvish keyboards this fall. Featuring a fully pre-built aluminum base with custom keycaps, it's almost like Drop's latest release was forged in the minds of Moria itself. Thanks for watching 9to5toys. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell to enable notifications so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Featuring Drop's Enter keyboard as a base, it comes with custom Dwarvish lettering keycaps with runic symbols on every key. These keycap sets launched last year, but now they've got a keyboard to go with it. The keycap set I have on now is the training set, but if you don't need traditional lettering, they also have fully Dwarvish keycaps available. It also comes with a bonus set of orange keys called Durin's Forge Kit, which feature the Eye of Sauron for the Escape Key and a few other options. Likewise, the Elvish keyboard features an Ottoman Rivendale kit with the inscription of the One Ring on the spacebar and an Enter key with the sword Narsul, which Isildur used to cut the One Ring off Sauron's finger. You may recognize this design as the Door of Durin on her Dwarvish keyboard here, and the Elvish one features the Two Trees of Valinor, which we just saw depicted in the Rings of Power show. The overall color scheme and design looks great on my desk, and it complements it without it being the center of attention. Now as you probably know, the Dwarvish and Elvish people are the master artisans and forgers of Middle-earth, so Drop had a high bar to meet when deciding to create these keyboards. It's safe to say that the base keyboard is rock solid and just a joy to type on. We've got 87 keys in a 10 keyless design, white backlit LEDs which you can adjust the brightness of, phantom stabilizers, and Holy Panda X switches that unfortunately are not hot swappable. The closest comparison I could find to the Holy Panda X switches is brown switches, which are tactile and not too clicky. It comes with a keycap puller and USB-C to USB-A cable with no option for wireless. My main keyboard before this had red switches, and after using this one for a week or so now, I'm not going back. One of my favorite aspects is that the actuation level isn't as sensitive, so it leads to much less mistyping. Another detail that helps with this is the ergonomic keys, which are more apparent in side profile. They have a slight concave shape, which is perfect for your fingertips to hit with accuracy and not accidentally hit two keys at once. The training keycaps do look a little busy with both Dwarvish and Red English lettering, and I'm not confident enough to go hardcore, so this works and still looks great. The lack of a number pad may be a deal breaker for some, but you still do get arrow keys and full navigation keys. These keyboards are fully compatible with Mac and Windows out of the box, but do not offer Mac keys, so you're stuck with control instead of command. One thing I'm really happy about that is becoming more and more rare nowadays is the fact that there's no software you have to download to configure this keyboard. It comes with a handy reference guide for system controls and media keys. If you can't live without built-in macros and key assignments, this may not be the keyboard for you. These Dwarvish and Elvish keyboards both have some compromises if you're a mechanical keyboard enthusiast, but for the everyday Lord of the Rings fan, this keyboard has what you need. They're on pre-order now and start shipping in October for $199, which is a hard sell when the base keyboard is less than $100. Now there are many options at this price that give you much deeper customization and more features, so this is for the ones that truly have an appreciation for the world Tolkien created especially two distinct languages with their own storied histories. If these keyboards weren't enough, Drop offers handcrafted artisan keycaps that feature the one ring in iconic locations from the series. They also have wrist rests with Smaug on them for the Hobbit fans and options to buy the keycaps separately if you want to keep your existing board. Overall, it's a solid keyboard for any Lord of the Rings fan and a nice addition to a keyboard enthusiast collection, but maybe not their daily driver for this price. What do you think of this collab? And are you watching the Rings of Power? Let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, leave us a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you want more videos like this. This is Dom with 9to5toys.